You said that in terms of uh, vintages, the, the last 15 years compared to the previous 15 years, they, they changed in style. They changed in style. In a good, good vintage. Yes. What did it change? What changed is the weather uh, a lot. We've had warmer, uh, um, warmer years, longer uh, um, um, summers Sunny. or Indian summers, as, as, as you call them, uh, um, where where before the rain was was coming much faster uh, uh, in in October. Now the rain mainly comes in, in November, so it it it, it allows, it allows us to, 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 to go a little further. The before food. we didn't have the possibility. 91, 92, 93, 94. Difficult vintages, very, difficult. very difficult. 91, we didn't produce any a wine in, in our portfolio uh, because of the frost of, of April 20th to 21st. Uh, um, I mean, so very, very difficult. 94, it just rained nonstop. Um, so it, it's that's 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 obviously the, the first element which is absolutely key. Because we control the crop because, because there, there's an element which is very important, which is a little taboo and uh, not very politically correct, but wine is more expensive, which means that we have more means to invest into the winery. You know, a wine producer, he's not going to buy a Ferrari to drive around his vineyard, you know, he's going to break it uh, uh, immediately. So he's going to invest in a new tractor, he's going to invest in, in, in a new plowing uh, 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 system, he's going to invest in a new sorting uh, machine, a new, a new seller. You know, everybody says, oh, there's a, there's a race to the biggest seller in Bordeaux at the moment and the, most, the more beautiful. Yes, maybe for the, the, the image of, 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 of the property, it's great to have a big architect, but the reality, the everyday reality, is to have the best possible tool uh, to produce the best possible wines, you know, and, and that's the beauty of it, and that's a key element. So we Sorting is one of these elements. Sorting is one of the elements, but, you know, temperature control. Now, nowadays, if there's no temperature control in a, in a tank room, you, you think, but who, who, where is that guy coming from? Uh, um, you know, 15 years ago, there was still a lot of sellers with, without temperature control tanks. Uh, um, there's there's so many things you know the the way the wines are, are pumped today uh, um, the, the 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 pumps get uh, uh, the the pump system uh, uh, doesn't get in touch with with the wine so there's not that sort of crushing a, a, an effect on 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 the wine the the everything is different the 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 way to be able to control the oxygen you know we 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 work with nitrogen for for most of the vinification and 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 the aging uh, uh, but be, because because we have a nitrogen uh, uh, center in 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 our tank room uh, um, which which before was non existing so you could not control the oxygen so you didn't have that choice um, the new presses uh, the, the, it's the, the quality of the press uh, 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 that we get now has nothing to do with the presses we, we would get 15 years ago, uh, which you could not include in the wine. Now uh, you, you have you have presses which are beautiful and are not overtaking the wine, and you can easily add three, four percent in your blend, which will give a little more muscle yeah. and more immediate uh, 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 um, pleasure when when the wine is young. It's 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 just a different. It's a different world, yes. you know, and all of that, you know, of of course, uh, was helped by by the raise of prices. But when you look at the raise of prices of the more, you know, everyday wines, uh, they they didn't go they didn't go up. They hardly went up, uh, um, and and that's where it's it's a little uh, um, it's uh, there, there's a true contradiction uh, um, because the top wines have access to all. The, those elements I, I, I just mentioned, and the, the main core of the wine production around the world, it's not only Bordeaux, around the world doesn't have access to it because, uh, because the prices are not going up. For, uh, which to buy those elements. In, a, in which estate we should drink? Do you think it's right to drink now that is right to open as well? Uh, which vintage? Well, in which estate? Alors, uh, um, I personally drink wines much younger than than, than what we used to do. Um, the the personally at the moment I love the fives. 
the fives. I'm a big, big fan of the fives, and I already opened the big wines in five. Um, and, and I really like that period where the wine is still young, you still have that energy of the youth, but it has aged and, and it has found that, that adult balance, you know, uh, um, which then will give you so much more pleasure. Um, the O7 are, are, are very pretty, um, very pretty, uh, and, and I've been drinking them for quite a while actually. Um, I, I, I tend to drink the uh, um, sort of more classic, no, more normal vintages uh, on, on the earlier side. Um, you know, there's a couple of wines already in 11 which are very approachable. I mean, uh, the, the second label of Trotanois, for example, which is called Espérance. Sorry for the name. Um, the 11 Espérance de Trotanois is delicious. And, and I, I always have a, 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 a case not too far away to, uh, to pop out a bottle. I like the nines as well. Even if it's young, the tens are beautiful, much more beautiful than the nines, I think. But the nines are so generous, and they've been generous from since day one almost. And uh, I mean, a couple of years ago, they went through their slightly. What sort of did you think on the, uh, What did you think on the premiere when, when you tasted the nine? Oh, I just I, I was, I was uh, drinking everything. It was so good. I mean, it's to which old vintage you would compare as it, beauty and it, 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 it would be 90, but but it's hard to compare because the, the I mean, two wines were so different. In terms of even, uh, but it's it's you know people say wow, you know that. It's just that nine. What you see is what you get, and you see a lot, you know, and it's just out there. It's gen it's pure generosity. Yeah. The 10 is much more restrained, but each time you, op you, you, you open the bottle, it's a flower that's gently, uh, uh, gently opening itself. It's, there's one petal more that's, that's open. Uh, the 9, it's, you know, the flower was wide open from the beginning. 15 um, is missing out of the 9. Oh, 15 is... Uh, alors, 15, I can only talk uh, for the moment about the, 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 2000, the, the 15 from us. But for me, 15 is a magnificent vintage. Magnificent vintage. Uh, um, In terms of weather condition and investing. It, it, was, it was just almost, almost perfect. Uh, and for me, 15 is a 2005 plus. And 16? Um, 16, it's yeah? a little early. We, we, we just finished the Malolactic. Uh, um, so we're really starting to, to, uh, to taste. I did a big tasting last week. Um, it's. Uh, it's a big vintage. Um, it's a little less generous than 15. It's a little more restrained. Uh, um, uh, and the main difference, funnily enough, in, uh, in the uh, analytic construction of the wine is there's a little less alcohol. Uh, um, and by having a little less alcohol, you don't have that sweetness that is brought by the alcohol in the wine. So the, the you're, 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 more on the, you're more on the structure yeah. today. Um, so it's a little early to judge. It's going to be good to very good, that's for sure. Uh, um, the conditions were extremely well. very, very difficult. Very difficult because we went from uh, uh, too much water to no water. So. Half of the of the growing season was was wet, and half of the growing season was dry. So for the vines, it was a little surprising, and and young vines didn't manage to to adapt uh, uh, to, to to those big changes. Where older vines, uh, uh, with their root system which was well in place, did a, a, a much better job. Your view and difference on uh, biodynamic, organic, natural. Um, I think it's a great direction to go towards. Um, to tree. It's important to, uh, to go back to the, to, to, to the vineyard. We've, we've been through a phase in the 70s and 80s that was uh, all chemical. But it was true everywhere. It was true in the world. Uh, um, and it's important uh, uh, to, to, uh, uh, to stop that trend which has stopped quite, quite a long time ago, honestly. But we, we have to, we, we are all walking, and we, we, this is something we're very, very present on, towards refinding the natural balance of the soil, 
we are working towards the reconstruction of the natural balance in the soils uh, uh, for, 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 the, for the vine to, to, to then find its, its own balance. Sustainable farming is, is exactly the, the right term. Um, but it's, 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 the, it's the reality. Uh, but but uh, um, vineyard is key and, and I think all that movement is bringing back to uh, I mean, the attention to the vineyard, which is extremely important, and I admire the people who do that because it's very hard. It's a lot of dedication. In our part of Bordeaux, it's it's not working because it's too humid. In California, we are. We are. It's easy. It's easy to be. You know, uh, uh, we're we're completely. We're not biodynamic because uh, uh, again, it's it's a slightly different approach. But we're completely organic, except Bordeaux. France, not France, yes. I mean, your area in uh, California. There is any wine that you came across and uh, or you know or well, that you really I, like to enjoy to I, drink? I, I'm always out uh, of the standard, you know, I, Bordeaux I, or. I, I fully understand. Um, I'm always very curious and I'm lucky to travel a lot. And when I travel, I don't want to drink our wines except if it's a tasting dinner, then I have no choice, but uh, uh, thankfully there's not only that, uh, um, and, and I love to come across other wines, I mean, really. Um, however, as a wine producer, you have, to, uh, uh, you have to know your wines and you have to be obsessed by what you produce. Uh, otherwise you don't go the, the, the extra step or the extra mile, or you don't take the extra risk. Uh, um, and in order to, to do that, you have to know your wines by heart and you have to follow their, their, their development very, very closely and to put it in any conditions. So I must admit that at, at home, I drink a lot of our wines. Uh, but, uh, you know, you, you, you put in front of me a good bottle of wine from anywhere, whether it's in the Malbec from Argentina, or I, I'm going to drink it with great pleasure. I'm, I'm a drinker, you know. I'm, I'm a consumer before being a producer. But you cannot, you cannot do a good job as a producer if you don't like drinking wine. You have to love drinking wine, and I love drinking wine. This brings me one, one more question. Yeah, of course. Coraban. It's great. It's fantastic. But I don't use it. I have one, and I usually. How do you perceive the? the the idea in a restaurant. In a restaurant is fantastic. No, no. To, to, to be able to Antonio, allow to people to have a, a, a exactly. beautiful glass of wine, uh, uh, which, you know, with a little bit of age, but they don't want to drink more. As I said, fantastic. It's a great invention. Um, but I have friends who, who use it where they, they're going to they're gonna have seven bottles for the week. And almost every night they're going to have a glass of each with Coravin. I love drinking too much to do that. <laughs> it's... Thank you very Thank much. You very Thank, much. You. Thank you. Thank you.